good morning friends i welcome you to the fifth episode of the program from the desk of principal secretary in this episode at the outset i would like to thank and convey my best wishes on the behalf of the parents and the parents of 664000 students who have written the 10th class board exam this year for the exemplary work which is being done by the teachers at all the 23 spot valuation center i happened to visit few of them during last week the conditions in those valuation center makes me to commend those teachers again and again for their commitment for the guntur center which i visited the temperature the day i when i visited the center the temperature was as high as 36 to 37 degree and as we know in our state the feel like temperature is generally 5 to 6 degree higher so it was feeling as if the temperature is 42 to 43 degree the teachers were sitting on the in in that uh, in the corridors such a adverse condition in fact i shared this with many teachers there i really compliment and salute your commitment i would have not been able to sit in those centers even for 2 to 3 hours that takes us to a more fundamental question which i keep discussing with all my colleagues every day the biggest stumbling block or the biggest restriction or the biggest enemy to our good work are primarily two issues one is inertia the whole thought of being a status quoist whenever any thought com- good thought comes in our mind of moving forward there is another thought which captures us saying status quoist for example of the valuation center of kuntu everybody knows it's not a good center it's not fit to be a spot valuation center if you look at a checklist what should be a good spot valuation center perhaps the guntur center will get zero marks however the people who are in the system people who are in the helm of affairs the decision makers i would not like to name any of the officers their mind is full with status quoist approach okay this center in guntur has been the valuation center from 1965 in 1965 also valuation center has happened 1970 also valuation and it was a valuation center 1990 also it was was a valuation center 2023 also is a valuation center is status quo status quo is dangerous feeling of being a status quo is is the most harmful thing which can happen to anybody a good officer is one a good government public servant is one who thinks last year was this how can i improve better this year how can i improve further better this year maybe the center which is there in guntur was a good center in 1970 but after 1970 in up to 2023 many new buildings have come up many better buildings have come up. why our mind is not thinking my evaluation center it should be in the best building in the city i am sure in the guntur city we can find at least 10 to 15 buildings which fulfill all the requirements which are 5 to 10 times better than this building my observation why i visited one of the evaluation center one the big enemy of any human being is this thought of being status quoist second biggest thing we should always avoid and which is which again is the biggest enemy to any mini- human's thought is a thought is a, a, a thought of fear the fear in the mind second one which i visited valuation center is bapatla that was an example of being fearful what was the fear the fear is i should keep the strong room in the school education department building only what is that building in bapatla i i visited half of the evaluators were sitting in the constructed uh, rooms one fourth were sitting in semi finished rooms another one fourth were sitting in the corridors again the question one should ask is in bapatla 
was it the best building obviously it was not the best building the decision makers there did not think of hiring a better building the element of fear if i put it in another building which is not in our control therefore if my strong from my strong room even if one answer script goes out tomorrow something will happen and for that which will which will go out why any, uh, will go out i'll put these 1100 teachers i will give a poor service why this negative thought comes why this thought of fear comes that one uh, answer book will go out in today's world using technologies with us all department support are with us police department support the way they supported uh, in during our exam conduction of examination that is with us the revenue department support is with us electricity department support is with us information technology department support is with us why will it happen that a single answer book will go out and because of that fear i saw the bapatla center also it was not befitting a center center to be called a valuation center of andhra pradesh in school education department where andhra pradesh is signing off on everything in the in india when the whole country is talking about the programs which are being taken up in in andhra pradesh on 5th there is a meeting of the all the senior officials in chennai they have said andhra pradesh nadu nadu will be discussed in detail in that meeting the, i got a call from delhi and saying that please send me the details about your bilingual test book send us the detail about the ammavadi program send us the detail about vidya kanuka program when the whole india is talking about our best programs and where we are not government is not hesitating what is required in the department today the government of andhra pradesh budget if you look at the per person budget on education of uh, across all the 35 states we stand first if we can spend 35000 crore every year for making every aspect of our education department best in the country do we don't we have money spend money to make our 23 valuation centers the best centers in the country we have when the representation was given to the government to increase the remuneration of the evaluators who are at the spot valuation center the teachers who are working as evaluators at the at the center government took less than 12 hours to issue an order enhancing the remuneration by 50% whenever the topic of school education comes for our chief minister sirs budget is a non issue now well, that's the reason why i have 35000 crore budget with us looking at the valuation center at uh, at guntur and bapatla actually depressed me to tell you frankly and i told there those uh, teachers who are there on those two centers i told i said whenever we make any program whenever we we conceive any event first question to be asked which i keep talking about which is the concept of game theory had i been that place at that place or had i been part of that event would i have done it i mean in other words the question is people who selected these centers they are asked to sit in that center from 9 to 5 for 7 days in month of april can they sit the answer is no i can't sit i told i can't sit for 7 days how can my other colleague who is there as a evaluator can say this is the challenge i have given it to all the dios and to the director at the examination board that for the supplementary exam evaluation which will happen sometimes in june our 26 center should be the best the way our nadu nadu phase 1 schools are the best in the country our 26 valuation center should also be the best in the country friends in the last one month the training program for the next uh, academic year for our colleague teachers many teacher friends told me that they require very intensive training on technology led teaching and learning area the training four to five parts in four or five module module 1 about the tab second about the interactive flat panels which are going to be put third about the smart tvs fourth about the bajus content and fifth about the connectivity these five things 
lot of my teacher friends told me that they require intensive training we have done a detailed del deliberation now higher education council of andhra pradesh which has all the engineering colleges in andhra pradesh so these engineering colleges of andhra pradesh and higher education council and then the byjus and whoever will be the whichever company will be the vendor for the for the smart tvs and interactive flat panels they will all come together and we are designing this blended blended training program which means which will have a online component have a offline component which means a, phys a physical training component also for all our teachers so this will be a certificate program from a higher education council idea is we will select for every block or two blocks around 180 to 200 engineering colleges and these engineering colleges will be the center will identify the computer science electronics electronics department professors assistant professors associate professors the mtech and the phd students and these along with these other our partners like bajus or whoever will be our tab samsung and who will be the vendor for ifp they will all come together and they will provide training to our teachers all our teachers will be totally at ease with all these four or five technology enabled learning and teaching components none of them will look intimidating to any my teacher friend none of the component will look alien to any of my friends so that's the first training program which we have designed which will be rolling out very soon teaching and learning is going to become part of our, any teachers life in the world globally the next training program which i have have designed and the thought behind designing that training program was that there is a need that the relationship between the professors of iit madras professors of isc bangalore professor of iser pune professors of iit tirupati isr tirupati triple iit karnool their relationship with our teachers of school education department should grow 5 to 10 years terms it should happen that every maths teacher of of andhra pradesh government of government school should know some professor or assistant professor in these institutions the physics physics prof, uh, teacher should know some professor or assistant professor there so keeping that in mind the iit madras being a consortium leader and they are in talk with other what we call it institute of national importance the institute of national importance like iic bangalore triple uh, iit ice indian institute of science science research touch with all these institute of national importance and with that consortium every teacher who is in maths physics chemistry biology or english will have a uh, access and will be provided a certificate from iit madras at the end of 24 academic year every teacher in these five areas will have certificate from iit madras these two training program will build the capacity of our teachers we will go far ahead than any other of our colleague teachers in any state in this country and that's the vision i'll request uh, all my teachers friends to take this these trainings very seriously these trainings will will give you a certificate which you will be proud of because this training will be asynchronous it will be on our uh, our online platform diksha platform therefore it can those videos can be seen as many times as possible therefore please take your time out may is a time there's a one month summer break is there we are hopeful that some of the videos by that time should be out If somebody says that i have now i saw the video once now i have got 80% once and have reached 80% real determined person has everything perseverance hard work intelligence focus so everything put together is important i have a way, somebody has a fast grasping is only one dimension therefore i request you to go through those videos again and again the next uh, issue 
which uh, i thought i will cover in this uh, in this episode is about jagannatha vidya kanika jagannatha vidya kanika is a program which is a students entitlement we must ensure as a class teacher as a principal as a meo as a do that we facilitate every child to achieve his or her entitlement every child in andhra pradesh who is studying in government school to get a bilingual test book it's a right of every child to get a school bag it's a right of every child to get a three pairs of uniform it's a right of every child who is up to class 5th to get workbook it's a right of every child to get a dictionary they are they are children's entitlement now last week i went to one kasturba gandhi school interacted with the 8th class students now these 8th class students we know 88000 8th class students who are studying in our top 100 uh, top 1000 high schools in our state are going to write cbsc 10th class exam in 25 march these 88000 students are the brand ambassadors of government of andhra pradesh government schools they are going to tell this country how good the government schools in andhra pradesh are and out of these 88000 students i happen to interact with 81 80 60 of them and what i find i find that the semester 2 maths book maths book of class 8 students have not been provided till today I mean, till that day, students have written uh, summative assessment one, which is half yearly. They have written a formative assessment three. They have written a formative assessment four. They were going to write uh, the formative assessment two after three days. They have written all the exams without a book. They have a thirty thousand rupees tab in their hands, but they don't have a test book. They are Kasturba Gandhi residential school students. girl students their parents have believed us and and given and left their girl child in our hands is it fair that on the last day also on the last day of their academic year they don't have test books and when i started asking uh, the officers who are present there everybody is trying to pass a buck to other person what's the truth the truth is that they, they didn't have book that day but the government of andhra pradesh doesn't have books have books or not we have 17 lakh books in our store were we able to provide those uh, 80 those uh, 60 odd students of this kasturba gandhi school in in maniam district within 12 hours night 9 o'clock we identified the issue on saturday 12 o'clock these 40 books were uh, the books were given to the students from where these books have come they were there in the store it was an issue of insensitivity it was an issue of poor management our request is we should not take away the entitlement of any student who is with us and that's my request to all teachers you are a class teacher of one class for that class as far as jagannatha vidya kanika is concerned be an active agent in providing the entitlements to the students of your class for which you are class so as we know vidya kanika is test books up to class 5th workbook beyond class 5th notebooks three pairs of uniforms we have a school bag bell dictionary all these things as a class teacher if you think that other whenever this distribution will start from class to, from 12th june onwards if any child of your class if you see that other if you get this feeling that other schools have got it in your school also other classes have got it your class has not got it apart from telling your school teacher uh, telling your principal your meo uh, calling up that whatever is our our education department call center my request every teacher is if you think that full entitlement is not given to the students of your class 
call me i am available for you as a principal secretary i am available to every teacher every class teacher of all 40000 schools i am you to all the school or 1.5 to 1.6 lakhs teachers are there the class teachers in our in our state are the class teacher of one or second class i am available for you i am a call away from you call me up at 9013133636 I repeat my mobile number 9013133636 both if you have not got it second if the quality is bad every child in our state should gets its entitlement in time and with quality so you keep talking about that we should be covering the syllabus in time and we should be checking the notebooks in time is it possible how is it possible and i have told this to many of my teachers friend during my field visit for the benefit of all other teachers whom i didn't interact in person i'll share with you during summer vacation if possible read the book i'm sure it's available on google it must be available also on youtube book called seven habits of effective people by stephen covey i will strongly urge uh, the people of of my generation who were in college i don't think there is anybody in india who has not read this book of my generation i mean people who passed out graduation in 92 93 so this was a very popular book between 92 to uh, 92 to 95 or 96 or 97 98 book by steven cove we call seven habits of effective people so let me tell from that book it's not my thought it's so the, what the book says and if we try to context put a context to 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 our uh, to a teacher our teacher friends to that book it says that during your vacation which is in the month of may think in your mind how are you are going to cover see my as a teacher my most two fundamental work is i looked at and i looked at government order which was issued in in year 92 about the responsibilities of a, of a teacher it talks about 8 to 10 responsibility and says that first two the most important two responsibilities are a covering the syllabus in time second checking the notes correcting the notes and the workbook of the students as a responsible teacher according to that book book by steven covey what i should be doing during my summer vacation in month of may i know which are my 200 days now there are schools are open but the academic days are 200 in my in the mind good teacher or or a sensitive teacher should plan every day what is he going to teach then when i execute the plan the backlog can be only has to be covered within one week and that's the way the plan is, should be that's only the executable plan make a annual plan and review it on weekly basis that's the only way to achieve it can it be done can it be achieved the book says more all the successful people in the world they have adopted this practice my friends that's the secret the secret is having the same speed having the same energy throughout all the weeks it's only the limitation of our mind which says that i cannot have the same energy level what does an average uh, person does he has very high energy levels in the first few weeks that's it's a 46 week plan first 4 5 weeks it is a very high high energy levels last 4 to 5 weeks but the winner is who has the same energy level whether looking at his energy you cannot identify or you cannot actually pinpoint is in week 1 is in week 10 is on week 20 is on a week 30 or is on a week 40 friends have a good spend some time thinking about it during your summer vacations vacations are the time when we should do lots of soul searching we should do lot of introspection 
we should do lots of planning for the next academic year uh, i hope you will spend substantial time in doing this during your summer vacation the year where the first time in class 9th we will have the cbsc syllabus cbsc assessment many new first time things will be happening in the year 23 24 on behalf of all of you i have promised our cm sir on uh, on the last review which happened on 10th on 10th april during the meeting i told cm sir i have assured without discussing with you but with a trust on you i have assured our chief minister that andhra pradesh will be the winner of in nas 2324 request for all my friends that together we have to keep our promise for the department and bring those laurels to the department in the nas survey also i conclude uh, my this episode of uh, from the desk of principal secretary again i wish uh, every my uh, every teacher a very happy summer vacation jai hind